Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Oh 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 yeah, yeah. Ing, ing. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, dude. The, what the, an the, opening, hey, dude. The, hey, the disc was skipping, man. I don't know what happened. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, hey, wait, wait, what? Huh? Well, huh? Well, Where, where's it going with well, this, man? Oh, shit. Man. Yes, sir, man. Oh, this, my this was gosh. Skipping, man. man, I forgot my cup, man. Yeah, you forgot your cup. But. Well, I didn't forget mine. You know, but I didn't forget mine. Red Bull, if you would like to uh, <laughs> support the show, yes, please do so. Anyways, we need we need a, we need a lifetime supply of Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, hey man, they're great mixers too. Yes, I'll tell you what. Of course. Shit, can you believe it's May, dude? Uh, no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Like, uh, I know we watched your uh, essentials. Yeah, man. And you said that and went. Yeah, dude's May. Yeah. Like last time I checked it was like February. Like no joke. Like seemed like legit. And then I was telling you, it's so damn hot here. <laughs> right? That it's uh uh two weeks ago I swear we were wearing a sweater outside. I mean it feels like we were rocking jeans and sweaters. Yeah. Two weeks ago. And now it's blazing. I mean but I mean the, the literally the weather said 60s, 70s, 80s. 100. 100. <laughs> it skipped one, right over the it 90s. It skipped right over I think the we, 90s. we had maybe one day We had 90s. like one, two days, bro. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Then maybe that shit one. was like, we in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we in here. We, but, you know. Hold the ice. But that's, you know, Phoenix for you. It's just like, hey. Nah. Let's just crank, nah, up the, crank up the heat, nah. dude. Like, whoop. Yeah, okay. They crank you it up. You know what I'm saying? They crank it up. Mm-hmm. AZ cranks it up, but it, it it's it's gradual. Right. This year, that motherfucker was like, <laughs> oh, June? Y'all wanted it in June? We in here in April. Uh, yeah, dude, April. I remember last year, I know you were in Cali, dude, but it was nice all the way through May. Not a it shit. was beautiful, but every year is different, man. Ain't no year the same. I shit, mean, just that, look at the shit we're memory. going through. Yeah. Shit, different yeah. shit, you know? Um I was going through something different, man. So, different weather, different topics, different <clears throat> political things, different, you know, just different, different climates, man. Yeah. I mean, time moves on. Things change. Yeah. Got to roll with the punches. Go gotta listen roll, Go listen roll. to our change uh, episode. Yes. Growth and change. Yeah, yeah. Go you check know what I'm out. saying? So, yeah. well, shit, man. So, what you been up to, man? Anything? Anything exciting? Uh, You know. Another week, nothing major. I mean, we've had some some dope things going on, you know, in the background. Um, shout out to the shout out to the to the family, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the squad. By the way, something something cool's coming your guys' way. Yes, yeah, something really cool's coming your way. Do you want to say, or do you want to wait? What do you want to do? Because I, I think we're, we're going to have to announce it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man, we got a we got a we got a cool new. Uh, Thing we're going to be bringing to the gray space, uh, the King's table. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were able to do a Zoom conference uh, with some of, you know, some of the kings that are around us, you know, including ourselves. And, and it turned out to be a very, very dope conversation, uh, very opinionated conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be bringing that to you guys as soon as possible. We're going to figure out a way that we can bring it to you guys, but yeah, the King's table, the King's table. Yep. Coming, 
It'll be a new new show. New show. Planning to do it maybe once a month. Yeah, once you know a month we'll do it. It was once dope, a month. man. It was just that so was much fire. cool. Man, it was so much fun to do. Shout out, shout out. Um, I'm gonna shout out to everybody that was on, and yeah. we're gonna actually have you know more people on as we right uh, continue continue to grow, and we'll have different people on as we continue to grow. But um, shout out to True Goodry. Shout out to Jay Dizzle. Shout out to A Dot. Uh, shout out to Woodman. Mm-hmm. Shout out. I mean, shout out the whole squad, man. It was it was. It was dope, man. This shit was like two hours long, and then it really didn't feel like two hours it long. It really didn't, man. It just flew by. It flew by real quick. But it was just so chill, man. Like, for me, you know, it was like getting to know <clears throat> all those guys and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, kind of sitting back and just, you know, observing and, yeah. you know, and then partaking here and there. And it was just cool, man. I really enjoyed it. And I can't I can't wait. Look forward to future stuff you know yeah. with them and talking yeah and yeah it's a lot picking of their brains you know and them picking our brains which was really kind of cool man yeah kind of tables reversed sure. and you For know sure. uh you know instead of you know us like ask questions i mean true man he just straight up started hey, asking true, true, was, true, was, true was deep <laughs> yeah dude true was deep he was he was ready to go from the jump um yeah man shout out shout out to you know shout out to the partners in crime man and shout out to uh couple of people that didn't make it, you know what I'm saying? Savvy, Ricky, Webster, you know, hopefully they'll be on the next one. Um, and we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll keep adding and, you know, bring some people on when we can. Right. Um, but definitely, man, it was dope, man. It was, it was dope to just in these times sit around and have conversations, barbershop talk, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? With the homies. And, and I thought that was, I thought that was great, man. I thought that was amazing. You know what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, man, dope, dope. Yeah, it was. We we gonna be bringing this shit to you as soon as possible. Yes, as soon as possible. Uh, I can't even wait to rewatch it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Even yeah, though I part, yeah. partook in it, and yeah, you know, it's just, <laughs> it was just, just fun, Great man. It was just yeah. really cool, man. Yeah, you know. Uh, you know, drinking a little bit and because we're all in the comfort of our own oh, home. Yeah, drink, drink and dang, man. It's yeah. expected. <laughs> so, yeah, man, it was expected. good. It was just a good time, man. Just a really good time. And um, that's kind of where I want to bounce off of this week. Now, <clears throat> I had something totally different planned. Okay. But this this week's been just different. I wouldn't say weird. It's just been different, man. For yeah, me in not. particular, and I know we talked about it a little bit, but it's just been different. I've been ever since really uh, I, I got off of what you heard of last week and kind of, you know, settle down on Tuesday, take a break a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like transitioning into that Wednesday of the King's Table, mm-hmm. I really... I had something else in mind for a topic for this sh- for for our show, okay. and I abandoned it because it, this week has been about music, and it's been hard heavy music for me in particular. Like, okay, okay. Um, and it started with the King's Table, and it was hey, wh- you know, I don't want to give away the episode, but it was you know, what do you think about this artist or what about this artist? How would you top five, top three? Right, right, would, right, 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 right. And it right. wasn't just artists. It was producers, right, and, you know. Right. And I was right. like, and then it, that kicked off. And then I got into like creating my own stuff, right. you know, and right. then listening uh, to our album review, like is part of this conversation as well. I mean, like I, I know we're going to do it later towards the end of our podcast, but that was also part of of me going, man, music this week has been so prevalent in yes. everything. Everything and we talked about. I, I really want to just kind of dive into um, the effectiveness of music and how it, you know, <clears throat> what it does for you, Humanity. what it does for me, yeah. and what it does for everybody else. Yes. And I really want to dive deep into that into music okay you know uh, uh real quick question man you, you know this is going to relate do you prefer uh it to be quiet or do you prefer a little bit of noise 
Uh, I, I guess it depends. Yeah, I'm with you on that, but it, I mean, it, it depends on it's. Uh, I, yeah, it depends. It depends. I mean, I think there's moments where I want, I want quiet. I, I need. I'm I'm with peacefulness. you. Peacefulness. One hundred percent with you. Now, but I can say overwhelmingly for me, I prefer a little bit more noise. Okay. Like Go ahead. seventy thirty. Go ahead. I'm just you know I just want to Go kind ahead. of throw that out there before, you know, um, because I agree with you though. Uh-huh. Um. There are certain times I want just peace, quiet, peace yes. and quiet. Just shut it nothing. down. Nothing. No TV. No nothing. music. Nothing. I don't want it, nothing. Nothing. But then I think about that, mm-hmm. and I think you know, there's uh, you know, like say you go outside, and there's birds chirping or something. That's right. noise. I like that noise. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's you want your peace and quiet, you know what I'm saying? And then there's that, and I'm like, that's a welcoming noise. Now, when I'm sleeping, I want peace and quiet, but then you could turn on a fan in your room at that white right. noise. Do you know what I'm saying? No, so yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I, yeah, I say, yeah, I think it's yes. like 70-30 for me. Like, there are definitely times I don't want any of that. But when I think about sometimes peace and quiet like well it depends there's on, it noise depends on, that are that's in there that i can deal with and i'm like okay right with. it depends on what you classify as noise right right i mean but there's people that like love to go you know <clears throat> you know when stuff was open uh like say go to starbucks or go to mcdonald's or wherever they have they wi-fi to be, they just love to be where out they have wi-fi right people, and yeah. then they have their laptop open mm. And then they work really well when there's shit just going on. Going on. I agree. Constantly. Right? I'm not necessarily like that, but I... I I'm not. I can kind of navigate that a little I, bit. Control, controlled noise. I, I think... I think... I think all of us, most of us, ha- need to have some type of something to calm our brains down. Right? So that's where, you know white noise comes into play Mm -hmm. right where having the fan on you know what i mean before you go to sleep helps you go to sleep because it's just a dull noise that's not disrupt it it just it calms you you know listening to the ocean you know that's why they have apps now that you can literally have playing on your phone you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so so you can calm yourself down and you can set it for like an hour and whatever it is right whether you're meditating whether Mm -hmm. you're trying to go to sleep whether you're just trying to calm down like they have that right and and music obviously is a noise that um is it to me is the controlled noise if it's something that you choose to listen to correct you right. know what i mean like if if somebody's playing something obnoxious and well, it's not or something some, obnoxious to you obnoxious to you right right correct because music is subjective that doesn't make sense right then that's different. You right. know what I mean? But they mean, you know, so like looping into our music conversation, because that's n- music is noise. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all it is. You mm-hmm. know, it's all it's some sort of noise. It's all, you it know, is. Uh-huh. hurts and vibrations and stuff like that. So, right. you know, uh, I think about reading and I don't know about you. I like music when I'm reading now. Specific music. I don't like like heavy metal i don't like hip-hop i don't like see i'm different i'm different bro i like i'll I'll listen to jazz and i can listen to like classical quietly like and read Mm -hmm. if you if if anybody has ever tried it should try that try listening to classical music and reading give it a shot okay i may i'm gonna give you a, a prime example um, movies. Okay. When you're watching a movie, mm-hmm. what is playing through the whole movie? Music. Music plays uh, through for the, the most mo- part. For the most part, plays through the whole thing. It's like reading a book. Mo- mood music, yeah. Yeah. What gives emotion to the scene Ooh. is music. I don't. It's, okay, so I disagree. For me personally, I disagree with you when it comes to reading. Okay, because I think, and I'm saying for people, I don't, I'm, I don't want to say this negatively. I'm saying for people who have both senses, 
right? Mm -hmm. Of vision and hearing, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're watching something, you want to attach what you see to what you hear, right? Mm -hmm. It, it, It heightens the experience, right? So it's one thing to to watch something and to watch it with no audio you 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 your basic your mind is trying to figure out how to enjoy it almost what you know how how to figure out the scene mm-hmm. but when you have audio attached to it it's easier for you to attach a feeling to it an emotion to it because your vision coupled with your hearing you're seeing something, you're hearing something, it makes you feel a certain way. When I'm reading, I don't feel like it's hard for me to focus on reading because you're you're reading words. Your your mind is actually taking that stuff in in a different way than you watching something uh cinematic. You know what right. I mean? So for me, listening to music would actually throw me off because my mind would go to the music and I wouldn't focus on the words. Even if it was like a classical type of music. <sighs> well, what if it's not, what, what if you're, what if you're I'm reading just... a, a, a thriller <laughs> book? You yeah, know, I mean, you're right. I, I, I mean, you know I mean, what I mean? You're right. I mean, I'm just, I don't know, man. I I would say if you that, never I mean, really tried it, I would say I'll try, I'll try, try it. I'll try it's it. really kind of, I guess it depends on the book, I guess, right? What right. you're reading, you know? I mean, maybe like a, a, you know, you're reading about somebody's life or something, and it, it doesn't maybe go, I don't know. I, I mean, but okay, everything the, I've ever really tried, so, like so, reading. So you're reading a, a Stephen King book. Oh, fantastic. I love, I like Stephen King, so. And I'm, you're, and you're listening to classical music. Yeah, and, but it's not loud. You have to understand it. It's not, it's not like being like forced you know, like you would listen okay. to actual music. It's kind of there in the background and it kind of, it can play into okay. the words, man. I think it's kind of cool. So, I mean, just a little experiment. Not, not, that, for, I, not, not that I think that it doesn't, it doesn't work. I in a, It might not be for everybody. I'm not saying it is, okay. but I would say, uh, you know, it's definitely worth a shot to try. Yeah. And uh, uh, jazz will do the same thing for me, depending on the jazz. Now, if it's really obscure jazz, uh, yeah, that, 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 but that, you know that, it, it depends that, on the music that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it really depends the and you're like wait uh, uh, your brain's getting all confused and all locked up <laughs> man that'd be <laughs> uh, <laughs> could you imagine bro like you're reading this really like interesting book and then all of a sudden like some random jazz comes on in the background it's like yeah yeah you probably would just stop and be like oh yeah my brain can't comprehend both things at one time man right you know right so but some people man are really good at discern you know their brains can really discern between the two you know things yeah um my it it just depends it depends to be honest it just depends um the other thing I wanted to bring up, man, too, is uh, "Alive Inside" is a documentary. Okay. Um, about patients who have Alzheimer's and dementia. Came out oh, in 2014. Man. Do you remember this? I don't. I don't think I've ever seen the documentary, but I will watch it now. It's called "Alive Inside." Um, it is absolutely fascinating and riveting. These people that. Don't like, don't talk, don't know what's going on around them. Um, then, you know, it kind of takes this journey of, okay, well, I know this guy, this, this woman that liked this type of music, their era of music, you know, and then they put, you should, their face, it'll bring a tear to your eye, to your eye dude, hands down it will, because it's the most amazing thing. It It's like they're dead. You know, they have like this, you know, like they're just withering away. And then you put that music in there and then pumped in it. They light up. They get and then they start singing and memory starts coming back. Uh-huh. Memory, 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 memory. Hey, what, what's it called again? Alive, Alive inside. Inside. Yeah. Man, that's very So anybody out there, you got to check that out because it's. It's super, just even if uh, you're kind of interested, check out like a YouTube clip of it. There's a couple of clips on them. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, but the uh, documentary is fantastic. Came out six years ago, man, 2014. Um, but my point in saying this is how interesting music is such a part of every single being on this planet. Yes. I don't care what it is. It could be really <laughs> obscure to you and I. Right. You know, some weird instrument that we're not, you know, that's played in India or, you know, Iran or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right, that those right. weird, like, Qatar, I don't even know the name of those instruments. Right. But that stuff might not register with you and me. Right, of but course. But when somebody hears that, and then the music, it's memory. Yes. I think it's the biggest... I think more than smell that's, because that's, you know, like when you, you know what that that's that's huge that you touch on that because it is memory. Like you, you learn to like certain things as as far as music goes. You learn you learn to like a certain genre because maybe you're more more open because of your history around music, mm. right? But you always fall back to what you grew up on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if if mom or dad or whatever you were listening to at two, three years old, that you don't even remember you were listening to at two, three right. years old. Oh, yeah. And then four, five, six, mm -hmm. that sticks with you. And actually, as you get older and start to dive into different genres of music, because you will do that because you're going to. Keep up with the times. You're going to keep up with whatever's going on at that moment. You're going to attach yourself to certain artists and songs based on something triggering your mind mm -hmm. to go, I really like that. And it could be the horns in that song. Right. And it's because when you were a kid, half of the songs that you heard had horns in them. Right. It could be the guitar. It could be the drums. It could be whatever it is. Right. Mm -hmm. So that that's huge, man. That's 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 a that's a major point of that really being almost ingrained in you from day one. Oh man, I just you know, there's songs that my mom and my sisters would would sing to me when yes. I was a little kid. Dude, those those hold memories. Yes. Um, there's things that my grandma would sing that you know come on the radio, you know, and when I hear that, I immediately think of my grandma. I yes. immediately think of my mom. I immediately think of yes. my sisters. I immediately think, oh, the this, day, is, the, this is where I was at this particular time, this particular day. Value, the nostalgic value and the, the deja vu effect is so important when it comes to, it's, it's why all these motherfuckers nowadays are using old shit. Right? Now, I know hip hop has done it but hip hop did it almost as to like the the origins of of hip hop did it almost as a ode to we're going to show love to the records that we grew up listening to mm -hmm. but change it in a more funky way do it this way they're taking songs from 15 years ago it's not even they're not even taking songs from years and years ago now they're taking songs from 10 15 years ago and remixing them because that nostalgic that Deja vu moment is huge when it comes to the listener. It could be a chord. It could be a a, a drum pattern, a guitar riff. You mm -hmm. could hear it and you'd yeah. be like, what was that? What was that? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can name that in one note. <laughs> one note. <laughs> right. Because right. it's so ingrained in there. And that's what's fascinating yes. about, about that documentary is that is so – that whatever – musical note that you that person even though they have alzheimer it's like bypassing the yes you know whatever yes. the brain's fascinating anyways i mean like we just don't understand well, yeah we touched understand, on this a little bit before, you know but yeah the, the multitude of what this machine of ours can actually yes. do yes. and information it holds and everything and and how it places and in certain things like that you know and it's just anybody out there i swear man you guys gotta watch this this is it's just at least watch some clips on it man. oh I'm, yeah, I'm definitely checking it out because it's just and you know it's that, so fascinating that, man that topic that topic hits home to me um just because th that's been 
something that's gone on in my family is dementia. You know, right. my great grandmother had dementia. Uh, my great uncle had dementia. Mm. Um, and I remember more, more, more so my great grandmother, um, it was like, it was almost like her brain was, she could, she could, she could feel it. She could see it. Her brain was like, ah, mm. I, I know you, I, I know, I, uh, you know what I mean? Mm. And so I definitely want to check that out just because I feel like anything that we can do to uh, help with memory and man. Yeah. And I think, I mean, so it just made me think, man, you, music is just such a huge, I, it's everywhere, man. Yes. So, I mean, there was, so I, I went down a little bit of a hole, man, like uh, okay. plants, plants love music. Um, they did a study that plants grow better with music. And they were even talking about like, uh, dude, just Google it. Right, I swear, just Google it. You can like a house plant. You can play music to that to that house plant, and it actually grows better. It actually really? it's the vibra- What it is is the vibrations of the music uh, yeah, 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 that it yeah, likes, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? And it made me think, and it was like, oh, I get it. Because even they even referenced outside, plants tend, you know, like that are real populated with birds and stuff. Mm-hmm. Do better because they sing and they chirp and they, the vibrations. Oh, shit. It's all interconnected. That's crazy. But on um, even a bigger, bigger scale than that, I went even further. Man, is okay. our our solar system, our the sun, makes an interesting uh, vibration uh, sound. It's mm-hmm. beautiful, dude. Uh, like it. It's so cool to listen to. Some of them are creepy, like all our planets. They went all through all of them. Mercury, Venus, Earth. We all, everything has like its own singing. It The whole solar system is singing to each other. Right. It is f- just fascinating. So we're inundated with music and yeah. sounds. And, you know, um, just think of a, a grocery very, store, man. Like, bro. uh, What's piped into grocery stores, into malls, oh, into man. music? Music is everywhere, okay, dude. Okay, Every, okay, it's okay. everywhere. It's literally everywhere. I gotta tell everywhere. you a funny story about that. Yeah, just go because ahead. you say that. Yeah. So you know, I work in the grocery mm-hmm. stores, and I worked for this guy, and I won't say his name, but when when I I was on leave, mm-hmm. okay, and some things changed while I was on leave. So when I came back, he was now my new manager. He was my new boss. And I came back, and the first thing I noticed, and I hadn't even, I had I had met him, but I hadn't really had a meeting with him yet. Like, mm. I hadn't worked with him. You know what I mean? So the first thing I noticed was the music was extremely loud. Compared to when I had left, I was like, man, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Who What's... turned the volume up? <laughs> who? Right. Somebody tell me who <laughs> turned the volume up because right. it was so loud. Right. So I was like, yo, why is the fucking music so loud? And somebody had, had explained to me that one of the first things that he did when he got to the store was I want to turn the music up because he had felt based on his experience that when you turn the music up, it gets people in a better vibe. And so they tend to spend a little bit more money. Now, I don't know if it actually worked, but there's a little bit of truth to that, but, but, but that was, and I, I I don't want to give him credit, you right. know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if it actually worked. But to even think about that in the sense of not only are we playing music, but I'm going to turn it up a little bit mm. so that people are fucking dancing. And now we just grab we it. Gra- <laughs> <laughs> now we just, hey, uh, rice, okay. Let me, beans, okay. Uh, 
toilet paper okay oh they doing that shit now never mind but they, <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second to get man uh, I was like, we yeah, went, got, oh, wait, got your ass back, with yeah. got your ass with that one yeah <laughs> uh but that's that's interesting man like um that is uh, well, I know restaurants will do that as far as oh, yeah. uh, turning it up to make it seem, you know, more lively in there. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's why restaurants tend to have live music in there because it's louder. Uh, it gets it, it attracts more people yep. like, oh, it's louder in there. It must be crazy. They must have awesome. There's a weird psychology of the God be to all all that stuff. Yes. Now, uh, to the loudness of it, though, I have to say, man, be careful with that because then yes. you're, you're really pushing a line of like obnoxious. Yes, you know, and and that and that was that was my feeling. Obviously, you know, having well, more been, of, more of a musical understanding than than he did, I was like, you're gonna piss people off. It it, it pissed me off. Well, and I was just, I was gonna say it probably pisses you off because I don't know. Do you guys listen to a radio station or is it like piped it's, in? No, like, it's it's um you can change it, so you can actually. Is it like a Sirius XM thing or is it like a no, Muzak type there, of thing? It's it's like one of those things. Okay. So you can you can change it to. I think there's like three or four stations, right? That like you can easy listen listening and yes. all that kind of stuff. Well, yes. I'm sure it's more it's annoying for you though because it's yeah it's on a loop and you hear the same damn songs over and over and oh, over man. and over and over and over and over again. You know, I, re- I get that. I re- I remember- it's just like working in 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 retail. Sorry, real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. And then you hear Christmas music from oh. November all the way till January, whatever. Then they turn it off, and you're like, how many times I gonna hear? You know, after a while, you're not joyful about hearing the damn Christmas no, you're not music anymore at all, man. <laughs> You going home and you tearing up every goddamn and then, present under the tree. Then you come home and uh, your wife's got Christmas music. Oh, you're, you're tearing, tearing up, you're tearing up, you're tearing up every off, present <laughs> under the tree. You have turned into the Grinch by December fifteenth. It's over. It's, it's over. You're pissed, right? Everybody's getting that work. No, but you know, but I've also I've also seen um, where they have changed the station mm-hmm. to be. Uh, a little bit more current, right? Yeah. And some of the elder generation came in and was like, yo, y'all changed the station, man. Y'all was playing the hits. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like... See, there's that, there's that balance. So there's there, always there's that, that balance, balance, right? So, yeah, there's there's got to be a balance, especially with music. Like, But it's funny that... But, but to your point, the fact that somebody went to a grocery store and notice the change in music, mm-hmm. right? Like, forget the loudness part of it. Notice that these songs were different than the songs that were playing last week, and it's just May. It's just, it's just June. There's no reason for us to be changing what kind of songs we're listening to. Right. But they notice that. That means subconsciously or consciously, they notice that when I when I go to Sprouts and I go to fries and I go to Albertsons or I go to wherever I'm going to I'm listening to those songs in the background mm-hmm. while I'm pulling off my groceries here and there you know what I'm saying I'm do that happens to me though loops. yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying it happens to me like uh quite often actually Does of it? of going into whatever store there's two things that happen one is I'll start singing and not know why I'm singing something, mm. and then I, I'll mm. catch myself. I'm singing, and I'll go, "Oh, there, yeah, it's being piped in." Yes. So I'm like yes. singing the song, yeah. you know, because uh, it's whatever you know you hear over time, over you know, and it just hits you. It's that thing that music is always it, it imprinted a, a memory somewhere. Yes, even if it's not like a specific memory, it's still right. a memory of like you said of chords. Guitar, yep. horn, yep. whatever, and then you start humming it, you start singing it. Yep. Then the other thing that happens, it's more frustrating, is you're walking through whatever store that's piped all kinds of music in. Mm-hmm. Then you get in your car and you start singing a song. And you're like, where oh. the hell did I just hear this song? And you're like, you can't get it out of your damn it's head. It's not unusual <laughs> to be loved by anyone. <laughs> <work. laughs> You right. know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, man. <laughs> but it's just fascinating, man. Like when I was just diving into this music stuff, man, um 
it's that just is, fascinating. That fascinating. It's all around us. So and why, why, do you, what, what, why do you think that is? Why do you think, like, okay, so like, what, who made the decision? Who was the first, like, I, we got to go back and research this yeah, shit. Yeah, we should. Who was the first grocery chain or retail chain was probably that like was Macy's like, because they, dro- they wasn't dropping music back then. Back then, like, when, when retail chains started, you just went in, got your shit, you, you got True. out. True. I bet so, you. I bet you it goes back to the Christmas thing, though. I bet you where that's, that's where it's kind of started, true. dude. I bet that's you it was true. like, a, and they were doing they were doing jingles up in that bitch. Yes, and, yes. You know, and it was probably and they were like, like, yo, our sales are the, going crazy. Right, back in the '40s oh, oh, or whatever, where yes. they don't have piped in music yet, but they have and carolers they their, singing. They was in there caroling. Exactly. So I think I think. I could be totally wrong. I'm just told, I'm just guessing, but I really think Christmas that's music a, is probably idea. where it actually started. And they noticed, well, oh shit, yes, they're spending more money because they're more cheerful when they hear. Yes, here comes Santa that Claus. Here it. comes Santa. There, that may be it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That may be it. That's a fact. And so I don't know, man. But it's a very interesting psychological study, though. Very interesting. And. I bet you there's a lot of studies on it. Like, I didn't go that that deep into it. I mean, I did go down some weird rabbit holes, like I said, with, you know, the plants and the the, the, the solar system with the planets and all that stuff. And right. I found that very fascinating and interesting. But just, one thing we do know for sure mm, from going to school is that waves and wavelengths, mm, right, Yes. excite the brain. Yeah. Right. So we're that's where going back to your whole thing of when I'm reading, I can listen to some classical or some jazz and it actually helps me retain the information a little bit more. Right. Right. I now now thinking about it, I can understand how you could be that way. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, if I'm reading to read. Right. Right. You don't want you don't want that. but But if I'm studying. And I know I, I know they're damn near the same thing, but when I'm reading, I'm almost I'm I'm almost mentally taking in a movie. Right. If I'm studying, I'm taking in information. I, I'm just trying to retain information. So we know this. This is a fact. We know this. Waves and wavelengths help us excite those things in the brain yeah. so we can retain information. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and actually, the the more, and to everybody out there, the more crazy it is up and down, right? So nowadays, music is actually catered towards loud. We want you guys to be at a, this level the whole time and then be done. Music, when it was first created, was meant to take you on a roller coaster of emotions throughout whatever song, symphony, whatever it was. So now if you're listening to a song, you're actually not getting the very value of what waves and wavelengths are supposed to do. That's why they say go listen to classical, go listen to jazz, because what it does is it dips up and down Mm -hmm. like a wavelength and it excites your mind. It's almost like working out for your mind. It's like doing some reps and then calming down for 30 seconds. And then doing some reps and then calming down for 30 seconds. This is why you need this stuff to actually create a strength in your brain. Right. Right. Yeah. And so that's where the classical and the jazz and and stuff that is very musically exciting, Mm -hmm. even though you may not like it in a sense where it's not a genre that you really understand. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, though, everybody likes classical. Everybody does. Everybody low does. Be- <laughs> low key, they do. because You might listen to it in your house, and that's fine. You don't have to, but you hear classical everywhere. Yes. It is literally like in all kinds of stuff. Like Oh, yeah. It's in, you it's know, in everything. And, I mean, you know, like I was talking, movies, TV show. I mean, you're yes. consuming that. You are consuming More so, classical it's, music. It's, it's very... See, I love that we're going down this rabbit hole right now because you and I know the behind the scenes. Uh, right. Of how this shit gets done. 
Mm-hmm. It's very much in movies. A lot of the stuff I don't know about now, but I know before a lot of the stuff that's being heard in movies is a live instrumentation that literally is going everywhere. There's drums, there's right, right. saxophone, mm-hmm. there's trumpets, there's guitar, there's bass, there's uh, what, what flutes, there's a <laughs> right. <laughs> name right. all of them. Yeah. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? And it, it and it's all it's uh, it's all done to excite you. Mhm. Excites your mind. It, while emotions. You, it, it invokes yes. emotions. For man, you could play a warm note, and it will make you more like crying, uh, yes. emotionally. You know, like warm. You know, you you could and you, then, you could, but watch. then you you have those high uh, registers that are like what you were talking, like thriller. You yes. know, and it invokes the fear in you yes. for whatever reason. Those those wavelengths are hitting your brain going, get the fuck out. Right. You know, you're watching right. the movie, and if you're watching the movie and that's not playing, you might not be saying that. Right. It's the music right. that's kind of, it's everything. You know, I don't want to take away from actors who are doing work. It's, you know, it's, stuff, it, of course. But when it you adds, really of think course of, it adds to it. Oh, it adds big time. Big man. time. Like, you, you take away music and movies, oh. you're cutting 50% off of... Unless the actor is all re- just all, like, all, all revenue, <laughs> all sales. Right. I mean, it's just that's a fact. It's like what, what was that fucking uh, what was that movie? Uh, the Notebook. Speaking of Alzheimer's, was it no? Was it the Notebook? I never saw the Notebook. So it was, I think it was a Notebook. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And it was it was it's a, it's a, it's a it's a lovey dove. Did you get out. did you get roped into this one? Oh hell no! I watched that shit by my. <laughs> no, I, I watched it. I, wa- I watched it. I watched, watched, you I watched, watched it. By your, wife, but I watched it with uh, confidence. I, like, bro. I thought you were gonna say you watched it by yourself. I, was I like, watched oh, okay. it with confidence. Cool. Okay, I'm not hey. a man. <laughs> Hold on, I am not a man who is afraid to cry. Okay, I cry my ass off, and then I'll be <laughs> a, then I'll be upset right after that. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. But you know, it's one of those. You know, there's there's scenes in the movie where it's. I mean, are they are they emotional scenes? Yes, but the music. I, I if I John Wick. Mm, there you go. Okay, one of my favorite, to me, the best action series of movies, all time series. Right. All I just want action, kick ass, and kick some more ass. John Wick, best series. But the music and the things that are going on in the background while mm-hmm. he's kicking, while he's right. dropping clips and doing all that, right? I'm I'm, I'm getting excited. I I damn near dropped an like, invisible clip on myself. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. <laughs> right, man. Yeah, I'm man. I'm shooting right there with him. Right, and 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 that's. But I wonder, man. I wonder about how, like, where did it, like, where did we figure that out? I know, I know, yeah. music has always been a part of uh, oh, of man. everything, right? Yeah. Throughout history, throughout obviously. history, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can go deep, deep, deep into oh, it if way back, deep, deep, yeah, deep, yeah. deep, 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 mm-hmm. and philosophies and and religion. We can we can tackle a right. lot of other things when it comes mm-hmm. to music, of course. But where did we figure it out? Uh, almost in the modern era, closer to the modern era, right? That we were like, "Yo, we got it. This we got gotta... this. We could play with people's emotions, man." Because the, the... somebody figured it out and went, "Oh, pff, we get, we got people now." Yes, <laughs> we got we got the we know how to play with them. I think yes. I really do think it's one of the you know biggest, if not the biggest, sensory that we have. Oh, big time. The um big sign, just you know, the the mu- the music just invokes so much. Well, because because so much because it's everything so, it's so subconscious. Yeah, I mean that's why, but like that's when why you, when I brought up the, when you're the watching sun something and stuff. You know, it's a conscious thing, right? You can turn your eyes away, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. When you're feeling something, you can take your hands off. 
Right. When you're hearing something, the the best you can do is cover your ears. Right. And tune it out. Right. But it's such a subconscious thing that even it like even if it's a if it's a song or a genre that you don't like, it still emotionally affects you. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, so let's say you're not into rock music. Right. Mm hmm. And you hear some hardcore fucking yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You're gonna be like, you're oh, you're, oh, you're yeah, like, motherfucker, <laughs> turn that shit off. You know what I mean? Well, that's why people and use the it guy, and the guy out. on the other side is like, hell yeah, yeah, I'm hype. Well, you know what I mean? And then that's why they use it for working out. Oh, they turn man. that shit up. Why do you think yeah. they turn that shit on? Yeah. Because it gets you. Exactly. I don't like this shit, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You over there doing you raps some, on raps uh, for no <laughs> reason. <laughs> Just getting some work done. You know? Put some heavy metal on, man. You get some work done. <laughs> shit. But it's crazy, though. That, that shit does. That's funny. Does affect emotionally. Yeah. In so many different Neur- levels. And even, you know, when you're, for me personally, when I'm not feeling uh, like so upbeat, mm-hmm. I have specific music oh, yes. to go to yes. and be like, I got to listen to this because it's positive and it's going to uplift me. And it's going to put me, steer me out of this shit yes. that I'm in, this yes. rut. And it's gonna pull me out. It almost works damn near every fucking time. Or sometimes you want to you want to be in your in your sad and, moment, and, and you're listening yes, to some sad ass fucking. Absolutely, dude. That is one hundred percent true. Don't know <laughs> what the world is shown. Yeah, if you, you want to if you want to stay there, put on some sad shit. Yeah, no doubt that's gonna keep you no there. No doubt, no doubt. It's gonna keep you there. If you you want to feel that way, it's gonna keep you there. No and doubt. whatever, man, like. That's the beauty of music, man. Yes. It is crazy. Now, crazy. speaking of beauty of music, we got to get into our album review. Yes. Because this, this shit is freaking let's dive, nuts. Let's dive this right in. album, Tom Mish and Tom Yusuf Mish. Days. Yusuf Days. What kind of music? That's the name of the album. What kind of music is the name of this album? Right, we're not saying we're not we're not asking a question. We're telling you what the name of the album is. Is what kind of what music. kind of music? Yes, this do, 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 do. this album is do, 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 do. <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Did you want to start, man? Because I got no, a dog. You go man. ahead. You go ahead. I just I wanted to do that. Do 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 do. do, so, do, 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 do. Do, do. Uh, let me let me get to it here. Yeah, you man. draw. You you, you know. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you chop on this. I'm gonna let you chop on this. Okay, so like I said, Tom Mish, Yusuf Days. Mm-hmm. Tom Mish is a guitar player, vocal vocalist guy. Yes. He teamed up with Yusuf Days. Yusuf Days is a drummer. Mm. I don't know about you, but this is a drumming album. Now, that doesn't mean that the the guitars aren't pre- uh, prevalent. Um, this album is about the drums. It is all about the drums, man. It's crazy how it's all about the drums. It's all about the drums. And the what drums kind of music is it? Album. It's classified as alternative. What kind? What kind? Hey, what kind of music? So, what's really funny when I thought about alternative, mm-hmm. this is probably the best <laughs> Go ahead. use of the word alternative for me. I agree. I agree. Because a lot of alternative today is very pop. Or it took the, or or it it or it's rock or rock, something right or it's but R and B soul. <laughs> it's but they, I don't want to be classified. I'm a, I'm I'm alternative. It is all like this alternative. is alternative. But saying that there's jazz elements in here. Oh my god, dude! The, there's hip there's hop. There's hip hop. Freddie Gibbs is yeah, on the album. Freddie bro. Gibbs is on here. One of the mo- one of the most street rappers that's out there, bro. That's lyrical street rappers. Freddie Gibbs. Is on this album. Okay, so <clears throat> I this album's fascinating because I've listened to it. I have to say it's probably the one album that we've reviewed that I've probably listened to the most in yeah. a week's period before we because at first I was so lost in this album. Yes. Lost. Completely lost. Had no idea. Um I was like, where are they taking me? Yes. And 
I just learned something today, and I even told you. Yes. The very first 20 seconds is the drummer tuning, tuning his, his drums. drums. And I went, I, d- I listened to that song. It's got to be 10, well, however least. many times I've listened to the album, because it's just on, it was on a repeat. Never really skipped through. I never really wanted to skip through anything. I wanted to, l- this is, I'm learning from this album. Yes. That's what's crazy about it. So, that's what's brought up this whole music thing is this this is like the cherry on top yes, basically of my music journey this week it's been nuts man what's your opinion on this album oh i was gonna let you keep going man i was <laughs> i was i was tuned all the way in i just, I just want to go yeah I was like, yes yeah 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 well i just think it, you know um, like your experience with that no album at first. man you know, I told you like when you first sent the sent the album over, we were kind of like trying to figure out what we wanted to do um, as far as what album we wanted to review. And you sent the album over and I had no idea what was going on in the first song. Because mm-hmm. again, you brought it to my attention today. He's tuning the drums during an official recording of a song that's going to go on an album. Yeah. That's how right? interesting and, this album is. But yeah. that's how interesting it is. It's very and, interesting, and it's, yeah. And it's almost like what they did was they captured the before and after elements mm-hmm. of recording a song and then literally put, them, put all these songs on an album, which is fucking incredible because if you have ever and for those for for those of you that have never had the opportunity to be in a studio while live music and I, I don't I don't just mean artists I mean live music is being recorded mm-hmm. guitarists drummers bassists like live music it is it is a it is it is a process for one and the process is almost better. It's incredible than the actual record. Like I want to be in the out, uh, in the room with them. That's and I was cra- like, yeah, I want to be a fly on a wall. And so be like, hey. so so when you think about when you think about the fact that not only did they capture it, but they left it there, and then they left it there for your listening pleasure to throw you the fuck off, mm-hmm. and then to bring you right back in that. Do, 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 do. I, 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 and I go back to the intro do, 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 and he's tuning yeah. the drums he's tuning the drums you while, can hear they're, while they're in the back like getting the melody yeah. right and then it's like oh we good and then they just drop go beat. the <laughs> fuck off right and the, the level of genius behind this album sonically is fucking incredible. Mm-hmm. That's the only way I can explain it. Right. From song to song to song. It's almost, you can't even understand how genius it was. And I, and, and I don't want to say this in a negative way, unless you understand music and, and, and songs and recording in the way that, music is made in the recording like you can't fucking understand it right now i gotta bring up songs because you're mentioning stuff i have to bring up songs real quick i don't okay. we could go down the list but what you just said in julie mangoes bro hold on a second when julie mangoes in they're talking there's that point where it's that talking part in the beginning and he i'm not sure who he's talking to it's like, it's oh, like a fuck, phone oh you fuck with julie mangoes yeah, but then, like, he's talking to somebody. He goes, what do you think of the album? So, I don't know if he's talking to his dad, you know, brother, a manager. I don't know. But whoever he's talking to, you, you recording me? And he starts laughing. He goes, uh, no, I'm not recording you. And he goes, oh, okay. He goes, the album is something to ponder. And I went, ah, it is something yes. to fucking ponder. Then, Freddie Gibbs on Night Rider goes... The very first line. Do you know what he says in the very first line? I, this is how far deep I've div- dr- dove. No, no, this, no. this album go, go, has go. just got me by the ass, dude. It is, it is grabbing me so much, dude. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> he said, he poses a question. 
listen to it. He goes, should I bless this track or should I let it breathe? Yes. It's the very first thing he says yes. before he dives in. And it's almost like, I don't, Freddie Gibbs is going, I don't know. I, I, should I bless this track or right. should I just let it breathe? Right. Like he's literally asking the question of, I don't know if I should do this shit. Feel like I might ruin the song. This, 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 <laughs> it's this incredible, album man. Is, this this is album is phenomenal for so many reasons. And, and I pick up something every different time I listen to it. Yes. So there's a little, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a huge dive in. Uh, you, because, you can't, dude. I, I don't just think you can by per track. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say. Do you have like a favorite track? Yes. Okay. And, and my favorite song, my favorite song off this album is Lift Off. Oh, nice, dude. The It's all instrumental, too. All instrumental. It, I'm really shocked that you chose it all instrumental. Oh, my God, bro. That song is phenomenal. The buildup of this oh, song. Oh, song's phenomenal. Phenomenal. The build, Okay. Yeah. So let me let me explain to you the love affair I have with this song. Okay. The song comes on. I'm on the way to work. I have a 30 minute drive to work, right? So this four or five minutes, yeah, whatever I think it's it is. Five minutes long. Right? This is one of the longest tracks on that album. So I'm driving to work. Before I even get on the other freeway to start heading to work, I finish the song. While I'm listening to the song, it's four o'clock in the morning, four thirty in the morning. Mm. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm driving to work and I'm exhausted and I need to pick me up. But I also understand I need to listen to this album <laughs> so that I can dive into it. Right. And I and I like to listen to it in different mind states. I want to see where it takes me when I'm tired, where when I'm super excited, right? Mm -hmm. You know how we do this shit. Right. So I'm I'm headed to work. And I'm listening to the song and I'm going, where the fuck is the vocals? Where is the singing? Right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm going to let it ride out. Waiting on the singing. And all of a sudden, the drums, the guitar, the and and then it and then it, then it was this huge buildup. Mm -hmm. Right? It was I sonically, bro. Sonically, I was going, what the f by the time the song ended, I rewound it the whole way <laughs> through this the drive to get to work. Cause I was like, I have I love this song so much and I have no understanding of why. The complexities of the buildup to get to the point where then it was then it was a plateau. Then it was almost like they're doing the same thing, and then it was like, okay. I got you. Boom. And then it just drives up, drives up, drives up, drives up. Done. Mm -hmm. Scene. Yep. <clears throat> Scene. Right? Yeah. Somebody gets shot. Scene. The end of the movie. Yep. That's what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, this is incredible. My uh -huh. favorite it is my go-to song besides the intro. Uh-huh. And besides uh my favorite's Tidal Wave. Uh, what was what was the uh, Night Rider? Mangoes. Oh, oh no, Julie, Julie Mangoes. Mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Besides those two, Storm Before the Calm. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> the, if You're gonna you guys, end up with oh, album. Oh, if if you guys are hesitant on jazz, listen to that song. Mm -hmm. It's the most jazzy song on the album. It's the very last one. You will love it. There's everything in that in that song, man. There's there's the horns. There's piano in that. There's the guitar. There's the, the drum again. The drums are so pr prominent in this. This is more of a Yusuf Days album, in it my is. personal opinion, it is. It is. than it is a Tom sure. Mish album. One thousand percent. Look at. I don't know these guys. Like this is the first time I ever heard of these guys. I had to look them up to see who they were. But all I know, man, is. This album is incredible. It's incredible. And I don't know, man. I do, 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 <laughs> do, do. I really don't know if I can score this album. I, I can't, bro. And I it's can't. so can we, weird. Can we come back to it next week? Or yeah, man, weeks? because I'm... 
I'm with you though because I'm like at at one point I said I can probably score it, mm-hmm. and then you listen to it and you go, well, wait a second, yes, I can't, and then you go, okay, I think I got a grasp, and then you listen to it again and you're like. Did I skip this fucking track like Man. three times? To- like, and then you're like, Man. I know I didn't, but you're like, I'm hearing different shit different every shit. time. Like, I can't different like different shit. Every and I told time. you, I've, I've literally listened to this album at least ten times. This is this is gonna be a first, bro. This so, is gonna be a first. All I can say is this, okay. and we're not, I, you know, either of us are, neither one of us are gonna give it a score. I, I can't. I can't. Go check out this album. Do Please. me a favor. Go check out this album. Yes. Please. Yeah. Like, do yourself a favor and and just experience, just experience it. It's only 45 minutes, which Going is... Down tonight. <laughs> oh, it's and just... It's, it, 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 it. Oh, my God, Because bro. you're going to pick up... You're gonna there's pick up the so guitar. There's so many different things, and then there's bro. like little things going on in the there's background. So many thr- there's, there's so like little, many things. Just sometimes there's a little top, fan. and the drums, bro. He's snapping on the drums. Yeah. Yes. What? But it makes sense. Oh my god! It makes sense to see that to see. Any song on this album live mm. would be fucking amazing. I, do it, do an Instagram live for your boy, right? Do a YouTube live for your boy. I need you, Tom Mish, and Yusuf Days. Do a fucking live for your boy. I'm tuned in. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Tuned in. Go check it out. She was amazing. Awesome, awesome album. Everybody got to go check that, check this shit out. So, yes, sir. Cool, man. Well. Shit, another one in the books, man. Another one in the books. Yes, sir. So, man. Well, obviously, man, go check out The Essentials. Go check out What You Heard. Mondays at 6 p.m. It's uh, Pacific time, too, even though we're Arizona. It's, nice. it's Pacific time right now. We are on Pacific time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so 6 p.m. Uh, every Monday, we, go, we premiere it. Uh, because it's all about music, man. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Go check out the essentials, man. Essentials dropping every Saturday. We uh had a little bit of an issue this Saturday. Uh, yeah, they hate now here, hating, hating, but it'll be up tomorrow or Sunday. You guys will see this. So, uh, they hate now here, you know. And obviously, thanks for rocking with us on the podcast, man. We guys really appreciate you guys sticking with us, yep. hanging out with us. Man, we got. I I know we say this all the time, man, but we got some we got some cool things ass shit got some going on, man. Yes, sir. Like it just keeps moving, and we're excited. And I hope you guys are excited, and you know, we yeah. just keep on rolling down this road, man. Yes, sir. So, Thank you guys for another fucking dope week. Thank you guys for tuning in to the gray space. Yeah, stay safe, stay, stay positive. Safe. Yep, stay positive. And as always, this is the Gray Space. Shh.